in the last couple episodes, we visited gas stations and giant truck stops from Ontario, Canada, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Walcott, Iowa, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But I received so many comments from many, many subscribers to visit this ginormous gas station in New Braunfels, Texas called Bucky's, which just happens to be the largest gas station in the world. So once again, I bought a ticket to fly out of Toronto, head on down to Austin, Texas, rent a car and drive to New Braunfels to check out this gas station called Bucky's. In this episode, I'll be visiting Bucky's with a side trip to the Alamo in San Antonio. But first, I'll be taking you on a tour of this ginormous building and checking out what they have to offer. We'll also be eating our breakfast, lunch, and dinner at this location. From breakfast brisket tacos and coffee to lunch turkey sandwiches, beaver nuggets, and banana pudding to a monster dinner of fish tacos, Texan hot dogs, and coconut cream pie. So grab something to eat because this show is going to be epic. All right, we have made it to Bucky's, the largest gas station in the world, and it's right behind me. All the pumps are right there, and uh, I'm going to go in and grab breakfast. Uh, one of the things I didn't anticipate was the cold weather. You're thinking Texas is supposed to be a, a hot state, but it's like plus four degrees. I'm not sure what that is in, in Fahrenheit, probably like... 40. Let's go in there, grab some food, come back here, and eat it with you guys. Are you ready? Let's go check out this buckets. Sandwiches being prepared. We got ham and egg, bacon and egg, cheese croissant. Let's try the ham. Oh, they got a bakery. Check out all this food. Holy schmoly. And they got all this jerky. Oh my gosh. Smoked Monterey Jack cheese, cheddar cheese, sausage, more cheese. And then a fridge full of more meat. Chicken stuffed with jalapeno cornbread. What the? Oh, you can make an order here. You can do your self ordering. Tons of fudge. It's a lot of fudge. And then breakfast tacos. Gotta get some of those too. Brisket taco. This is my own. Egg, sausage, cheese, potatoes, beans, and green salsa. Yeah, we'll do that. One of these. Brisket and egg. Hash browns. I gotta get a coffee too. The hippo taco. World famous washrooms. This is all the coffee stuff. Dark roast, house blend. Let's go for a medium. And then we'll do this house, Bucky's house blend. 
Let's leave some room for some stuff. Here's the stuff for your coffee. That's why I got a sugar. And we've got all these different creamers. Oh, you can even pour your sugar. I think I'll do that instead. I'm not going anywhere. One size fits all, maybe. Yep. Alright, so let's do half and half. Don't need any flavors today. Alright, let's go pay for it. Good morning. Sure. Thank you. All right, let's go eat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Got my stuff. Got my Bucky's bag. I'll probably try and reuse it a few times today because we're going to be here all day long. All right, the bill came to uh, 12.05. Get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating. I, I need to try this coffee first. I really, really need a coffee. Hmm. Bucky's House Blend, not bad. I saw a, a sign up above saying something about Costa Rica and I love Costa Rican coffee and I'm hoping that this is, their house blend is from Costa Rica coffee beans. It does taste good. I enjoy that. All right, let's get out the the egg, the ham, egg, and cheese croissant. It's not your regular typical C-shaped croissant. It's like almost like a bun. Let's eat. Mmm. As I bit through that croissant, the butter uh, flavor came through with a kick, and then of course you've got that egg and then the ham. Mmm. Yeah, I'd buy that again, no problem. That's a lot of egg. Yeah, you'd probably need just this and a coffee and you're done till lunch. Uh, I finally got to the cheese. It's way over here. I don't know how it moved, but it moved. Next up is the Rhino Taco. It is huge. Oh, it smells good though. Wow. Mmm. I like that. This is good. Very, very good. Let's do another bite from this end. Another sip of coffee, show the logo. All right, last up is the brisket and egg taco. This one is quite small compared to the other one. If you guys live in Texas or have been to Texas, let me know what your go-to breakfast item here at Bucky's is. It almost looks like a crepe. It has like that crepe look. Let's do it. Mmm. I took a second, but then the, the flavor of that brisket, the smoked brisket, that's my favorite. Brisket for breakfast. Let's do another bite and make sure it's as good as the first bite. And yes, it is. The brisket is very flavorful, juicy, and that smoke flavor is coming through with a kick. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to finish this uh, taco. Let's go for another bite. Never thought I'd be eating brisket for breakfast, but I'm enjoying it. All right, all done my breakfast. I'm gonna finish this coffee, then I'll take you back in the store, show you around some more, and then we'll get lunch and come back here and eat that with you. All right, here's all the other food that I didn't get to show you. Whole cheesecakes. Oh my, that's what I'm gonna be doing for lunch. What is that? Chocolate cream pie. This one is oh, banana pudding. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a lot of this stuff for lunch. Looks amazing. Oh, look at old snack pack. We've got some meat, some cheese, pretzels on top. Hot mama. Like a whole lunch, nice. That's a good lunch, eh? Oh, and then the, all the pre-made sandwiches. Totally didn't see those. Oh, that looks good too, eh? Look at the size of that sandwich. Nice salads. If you need your sugar fix. All right, now we're into the grocery store area. So once again, you got all your drinks and there's a lot of drinks. You got beers, wine, 
one thing you can't do in Canada is sell alcohol like that in, in a gas station. Oh, and they got, oh yeah, this is the Buzz Bowl. Wine in a can. Red wine. Must be good, it's in a can. And they got way more stuff over here. Because it's not really a grocery store. They don't have fresh produce and stuff. It's big cast iron. That would be awesome to have, eh? The cottage. Do a huge breakfast. Now that is a big stirring spoon. Stir, scoop, strain. Okay. And they got all their spices. They even have Bucky's spice. Steak, chop. Steak and chop rub. Bucky's coolers. Steak brands. That's awesome. So after you finish your cooking your steak, you brand it. Nice. Crawfish broiler. Holy, that's a lot of crawfish. It's amazing. And this flips out too. Pit barrel. Ah, I've seen people cook with this. It's cool. You hang it from the inside or something. It's an old a horseshoe. Look at all this Bucky stuff. Of course, you got your Chex Mix. Lots of stuff. A lot of chips. And then, of course, Bucky's. They have their own peanuts and things. Salted caramel, beaver nuggets, cotton candy. Yep, they got everything. Got individual servings of cereal. Or you can just get it in a bar. <laughs> Lucky Charms Bar. Bucky's has their own coffee stuff too, so you can buy 12 cups. I guess they're like the little pods maybe. Or you can actually buy their coffee grounds and of course they do all these chocolate covered nuts beaver buddies animal cookies All right, guys, it is now one o'clock in the afternoon. I just finished all my postcards. I'm sending to my patrons. I'll have to find a post office around here somewhere and mail them out. Uh, but I'm hungry. I want to go back into Bucky's, grab some lunch items, come back here and eat them with you guys. Are you ready? Let's go. to one of the managers uh, this morning and a few of the things she told me I should get for sure are these things called beaver nuggets and she says she said they're like a cross between corn pops and Captain Crunch and they sell a lot of these so we got to try that of course we got to try some of their chopped brisket sandwiches so this one. Sliced brisket, chopped brisket, sliced sausage, pulled pork, turkey. Oh, there's a turkey. I gotta try this turkey. Nice. Apparently, they sell a lot of fudge. And then she told me about these things. You can buy them in these cones. Uh, this is sugar roasted cashews, sugar roasted pecans. Pecans, almonds. I think I'm gonna do the cashews. Cashews are my favorite. And you can order specialty foods from these computers. And she kind of gave me a rundown of some of the things that they serve here. So you can go sandwiches, and you have the Texas BLT. And I think she said their club. Oh, the, the lady at the front said the grilled cheese, beaver tots. For free, I guess so. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, grilled cheese and beaver tots. Quantity one. Add bacon, no, no. Extra cheese, no. Uh, ketchup? Yeah, I gotta do ketchup. Continue order. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm getting. I'm gonna do some other things. Okay, so I did the grilled cheese. Complete order. Thank you, so my number is 94, and I got a listen for 94. 
one of the other things she was pointing out was all the stuff, and this stuff is all fresh, uh, freshly made all day long, and it's monitored and taken out if it's been sitting there too long. They're gonna try their banana pudding. I gotta do that, man. Pudding. Making the brisket sandwiches. <laughs> Friendly staff, of course. <laughs> He's a zombie. <laughs> Good thing there's glass between us. 94. 194. 713. Let's check this out. Oh, okay. Not for ketchup in there. Got it. Already got a water in the car. Let's go eat. Hello. Hey, how's it going? All right, how are you doing? Not bad. Oh, got some stuff in there for you. Sweet. Lots of food. Well, it is 26.87. I just tap away. There we go. All right. See ya. Thanks. All right, people. Let's eat. I have to move the car a little bit because it was a bit too sunny on this spot, especially with this white styrofoam thing. Uh, we'll do that last as well. Uh, let's get into the, the freshest thing possible first, which is this grilled cheese. Nice little Bucky's wrapped bag. Then we've got a huge bucket of ketchup, which is quite, quite a bit, quite a bit of ketchup. All right, let's see if they're right about their grilled cheeses. They're cheap, look at that. So it's wrapped once, wrapped twice. Let's pull that apart. See if they've got the cheese pull. Oh, almost, almost cheese pull. That was a cheese pull fail. Let's dip that perfectly grilled sandwich into our ketchup. I love grilled cheese sandwiches. That is as good or better than I make at home. That's one of the only things I can make. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's ample amount of cheese in there. It is tasting lovely. Another dip. Very nice. Let's try a couple of these potato tots. Potatoes, ketchup. Perfect. Yeah. That's a lot of tots right there. And the fact that they're free and you get that many for $3.99 for the sandwich and the tots. Another perfectly acceptable lunch. Next, let's check out this chop barbecue a brisket beef sandwich. I guess you can get the chunk kind or chop. So look at that. So that is all chopped up nice and fine. You don't have to do a whole lot of work on this one, except not letting it fall all over your nice shirt. Oh, it smells so good. Smoky meat. Mmm. Mmm. Just the right amount of barbecue sauce. I'm gonna do another bite of that. Mmm. You gotta love brisket. It's un unbelievable. I saw them making more sandwiches with chunks of, um, brisket and I think I'd probably prefer that over oh, this is almost this is almost like pulled pork you know what I mean it has that whole texture thing of pulled pork but it is good yeah I'm pretty sure I'd prefer the chunks over this one next up let's try the barbecue turkey sandwich one thing I didn't notice when I picked it up it says pickles and onions so maybe there's like uh, several different versions of the same sandwich so it's a barbecue turkey sandwich but ones will have no pickles and onions on it i'm guessing uh, i saw that they had several spots but uh, it was all empty except for the far right one so maybe this is the one that people don't don't like as much because the other slots were all empty and this was the only one that was left oh there we go look at that fresh juicy turkey with a little bit of sauce on there barbecue sauce and i'm pretty sure on this side yeah there we go we got the pickles onions and more sauce all right let's do this mm. that 
That's a good sandwich. Wow. This is definitely better than the chopped brisket sandwich, but it would be interesting to compare their chunk brisket to this chunky turkey sandwich. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just, this is definitely tasting better than the, the brisket sandwich. This is wonderful. I'm not minding the, the um, pickles on there. I might, if I saw them making it, maybe ask them to only put uh, barbecue sauce on one side because it's almost a little bit too much barbecue sauce for the turkey. It's overpowering the turkey and the turkey is lovely all by itself. You don't need twice the sauce. Yep, this is killer, guys. I love this thing. Wow. Let's try these cashews as part of our dessert. So this is the, I guess it's kind of like beer nuts, but they do it with uh, cashews and almonds. Mmm. Has a little bit of um, cinnamon flavor to it, for sure. I'm not sure if you've had beer nuts before, but they're very similar. It's a uh, sweet, nice flavor. A lot of fun to eat. Yeah, next time you're in Bucky, grab one of these. I want to do this banana pudding last. So let's do these beaver nuggets. They're like a corn treat. So there is a close up of a beaver nugget. At first, it tastes like I'm eating um, caramel corn. She said it had a Captain Crunch and sugar, sugar pops kind of taste to it. I kind of agree. But if you gave this to somebody blindfolded, they'd first think that they're eating caramel corn. I could see these being very popular at a party. Put a couple of bowls of these out. People to grab. As you can see, I haven't stopped eating them. I'm enjoying them quite, quite nicely. Way to go, Bucky's. You have a winner. All right, last but not least, our banana pudding. And the second I saw these was, was the second I knew I was gonna buy one. I can't wait to try the other ones that they have. We'll do them for dinner. Let's just do it. And we got some whipped cream on the top. Mmm. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Yep, there's chunks of banana in there as well. I guess I'll say it right now, uh, this Bucky's pudding is like, go out and get it now. And next time next time you're out of Bucky's, grab the banana uh, pie in, in a cup. Mmm. It's making me excited for dinner, let me tell you, because I can't wait to try those other ones. Cheers. All right, guys, we are all done that fantastic lunch here at Bucky's. Uh, I just discovered on the map that the Alamo is in San Antonio, which is just south of here by about 37 minutes. So let's pack up, get down there, and check out the Alamo, and then we'll come back here for dinner. All right, let's go. Made it down to San Antonio, and uh, there's the Alamo. Punch the number in on your keypad, you hold it up to your ear and you give it a listen. One through four is the plaque in the grass across from us, and okay. from there just follow the trail. Got it, thank yes, you. So I'm doing the audio tour, and uh, they give you a little map, and there's numbers on the map, so I can stand here and listen.
so you know how to videotape inside or take pictures. Uh, but it smells like a basement, like a limestone basement. Uh, and it used to be a church and it used to, never used to have a roof on it. Uh, I think the, the missionaries put the roof on it, but originally it was just four walls and that was it. And uh, 1836 was when the big battle happened. That's it's most infamous for. So I believe the two trees over there are called cottonwoods and the, cotton, the Spanish word for cottonwood is Alamo. So that's why they named it the Alamo, because of the cottonwoods. And this tree, big tree here, you can not probably see because of the sun, is the oldest tree on the compound as a pecan tree. These are the cannons the Mexican cannons that they left behind after the war, after the battle, and they unearthed them and then they had to restore them and then they put them as uh, decorative items under these arches. Bucky's, the largest gas station in the world. I'm gonna go in there and grab some dinner. It is quarter after six. Grab a bunch of things, grab a bunch of desserts. I think Bucky's has a pina colada drink that I saw in there. Let's grab that. Come back here and eat it with you guys. Are you ready? Let's do this one more time. <laughs> Let's order the chicken and f chicken. Uh, let's do both. Extra toast, no. Extra gravy, no. That's not gravy. Is that gravy? No. Done. How many do you like? One. Uh, return to order because I want to order their fish taco. It's new. No, I don't want any extra. Uh, we can ask for, yeah, no cabbage, no pico de gallo, no sauce, no lime, but I want all of it. Next, I would like to add an apple pie, not today. Back to order, I want to, I think I want to try their hot dog. They have a Texan dog, and that's got Texas Chilean stuff on it. The one, no thanks, complete order. So, all right, so we've got three things on there. Cool. Now I'm just gonna get a dessert. There is the coconut pie. Make sure it says coconut. And then I think I'm gonna have to try this key lime, guys. Key lime pie. And I just need to get a drink. We gotta pay attention to our number, which is 988. So here's the drinks. Like 59 cents for a small, medium, large, extra large. Like holy cow. Yes, I don't want anything crazy big. Styrofoam, Bucky's, come on. Then Bucky's has all these flavors strawberry, blood orange, watermelon, water, fruit punch, pina colada, grape, strawberry, uh, lemon, lime. I want to do this pina colada. That tastes great. I don't need a full drink, guys. We'll put that on there. We'll grab a straw. Put that in there, hopefully it stays nice. I'm gonna grab napkins this time. Let's go wait for our number. We also have these chocolate cake balls. I think I should try those. Came back over here because I realized they had all three of them bundled, all ready to go. Yeah, let's just do that. It's fine, sir, thank you very much. Actually, I'm gonna grab a water. You can sort of the water. 
friend. Another one of these big ones. Thirsty boy. All right, how are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Lots of stuff. All right, thank you. All right, people, let's eat. All right, we're all set up. Uh, here are all my dessert items. We're gonna put that off to the side to give me some room. Then we'll grab these as we need them. We've got our fish taco. So it is folded like a taco, I suppose, to rolled. Like some of those other things in there are kind of rolled. And uh, they almost look like little burritos as opposed to tacos. Cheers. That's good. That's really good. Wow, that sauce. That's what hit me first. It's a nice uh, toasted flour tortilla, but the sauce inside, that's really good. I'm gonna have to do another way. I don't know what it is, but there's probably like a billion birds flying around my car. Not because of the food. Get a shot of that. They all were just swooped. Mmm, that's really good, man. Another favorite item I've just discovered, it's new, so any of you Texans haven't been to Bucky's in a while, fish, taco, get it. So go out and get it now. Now it's time to try Bucky's pina colada drink. Yeah, it's carbonated pina colada. No aftertaste, which is good. Bucky's, you guys definitely put a lot of work into your food. Thank you. Let's try this Texan dog. The messiest thing. Uh, this would be a would not recommend eating in your car. Chili Texan dog from Bucky's. That's really good, man. Nice juicy dog. The Texas chili is wonderful. The savory chips and crunch on top with that texture, and then the, and then the um, onions. What an awesome combination! I need to do another bite. Wow, I'm glad I went with this instead of a regular dog. That was fantastic. All right, I asked for uh, gravy. They gave you toast with it. Nice, thick Texas toast. Lightly buttered. I guess you could make a sandwich if you wanted out of it. But there is your beautiful, crispy, deep fried chicken. Mmm. Nice juicy chicken and that crunchy outside exterior. Mm-hmm. Let's check out their fries. They're like McDonald's fries, kind of. The peel's still on. Get some ketchup. Let's try their gravy. Oh, that's why. It's like a sawmill kind of gravy. It's not your regular typical gravy. I'm looking forward to like a nice beef or chicken gravy to dip my fries into. Let's dip that. Oh, do you see that? Dunk. Oh, oh almost. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have dunked this in like a, the other kind of gravy, but this gravy is, I guess it works out. It's kind of a bland gravy. It's not very savory. Not, not a whole lot of flavor in that. No, it's not really adding anything. The first bite, I liked it for a second. And then I'd rather just eat the chicken straight up than put this on it. Let's dip a couple fries in that ketchup. All right, it's time to try some desserts. Let's do this one first. I've been looking forward to this for hours. Coconut cream pie. Got my trusty spoon. Get a little bit of that whipped cream. Some of that pie pudding. 
It actually has um, like shredded coconut in it. I was thinking it was going to be just like a flavored um, coconut cream, smooth, but this one has bits of coconut throughout. This is more like a graham crust, pie crust, all crumbled up. It wasn't what I was thinking it was gonna be, but if I was to choose between this one and the banana, banana takes this one, no problem. Next up, key lime pie. I'm hoping this one uh, possibly comes close to the banana one. Not sure, again, it has that graham crust underneath. Mmm. That lime flavor coming through heavy. Again, not, not as good as the banana. That one was just a really dynamite dessert. This is pretty good. Banana, key lime, coconut. Last but not least, these little chocolate covered donut things, cake things. Let's do this one first. White chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. The chocolate was nice and hard, and the cake inside is really nice. The Italian cream cake that's inside here is just nice and rich and sweet, but not too sweet. So this is probably the, the, the red velvet cake inside. Mmm. Look how red that is. I don't remember red velvet as a kid. Didn't really hear of it until I was a full grown adult. But it tastes great. Nice and dense. It's not like a fluffy, airy cake. It's a very dense cake. I'm not sure if all red velvet is that way or it's just their recipe. Mm. Last but not least, the salted double chocolate. So it's probably chocolate on top of chocolate cake. That's what I'm guessing. Mmm. Yep. Holy cow. Look how chocolatey the inside of that cake is. Let me know if you like salted caramels, salted chocolate. I don't mind it once in a while. It's kind of a nice contrast between the sweet and then the savory. It's wonderful. I like all three. All right, guys, we are all done here at Bucky's, the largest gas station in the world. Pretty much every food item I really liked. If you ever come down to Texas and you're driving along, you're renting a car, you're visiting somebody, you're going to an event, you see a Bucky's, slam on the brakes, make a detour, get into the Bucky's and try some of these amazing foods that I got to experience for myself and then you guys can try it. All right guys, if you love these videos of me driving around the States and Canada, trying out all these really cool places, give me a thumbs up, ding, da, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry, even after that, check out this phenomenal playlist and I'll see you over there. Get your hunger on.